Hi guys, this is Paige. I want to make this video warning women about who they marry. I know I've talked about this before, but, but God brought something to my attention and I want to talk about it more. You know that there's a man on YouTube He has a lot of followers, thousands of followers. Do you know what he did? <clears throat> this is not to gossip, simply very important to speak of. He married this woman and then he divorced her. Now this woman came out and, and talked about how she was basically like, how could a man who, who preaches repentance marry a woman, tell her, you know, you're my flesh, I love you, and then after sleeping with her, tell her, I don't know if I love you, and divorce her. That's what happened there. Now, I think what may have happened is that she was married before, and he married her anyway and people were telling him not to because she was already married but he slept with her and then he didn't love her anymore and divorced her when I saw that and God showed that to me I was like wow God was like, I mean, God and I talked about it, and I was like, I understand now, Father, why you have me warn your daughters about men who seem to be very godly, yet hurt your daughters. Now this man, I'm not saying he's not of God. I believe he is of God. He's very young. I believe that he should come out and publicly say what he did. And tell everyone what he's done. And repent publicly for doing that to one of God's daughters. Do you see what I'm saying, ladies? before you get married, how you got to be real cautious. Even through what happened to me with my last relationship and in general. You see, You'll see people on YouTube or wherever preaching and stuff, but God really knows what's going on here behind closed doors. Closed doors. Rabbi Zacharias. People thought he was a godly man. Behind closed doors, he was doing all type of sin, bad stuff. Now, I believe people, when they hear me speak and the wisdom God, ha God has shown me and what I say and my relationship with him, they will know I fear God. But there could be people you think fear him and, you know, this is not to con condemn that brother or anything, but I believe he should publicly tell people what he's done. Not just hide it. You don't do that to one of God's daughters. And then go back on your channel and, and preach Christ. Like everything's cool. It was very weird. God kept showing me him. I was like, why do you keep showing me this person? And then I was like, oh. Hmm. 
you know, if a man did that to me, if I married a man, and he then went and used me and then divorced me, I would try to reconcile with him, you know, reconcile. And but if he didn't say, you know, he wouldn't reconcile. And then I'd be like, well, I believe you should go repent publicly for what you did. If you're not going to, we're not going to work on this because this is evil. And if he didn't do it, you know what I'd do? I'd publicly come out and tell everyone what he did and shame him over what he did. And that man would be on his knees before me for putting me through hell like that. And everyone would know. You don't go do that to a woman and then go back on your channel and, and preach God and act like nothing happened. <clears throat> That's not cool. That's why, ladies, you better make sure he's for you. And it's not the devil trying to destroy you. The devil could even try to destroy you through people of God. You heard in my last video what I said, Jezebel's out there trying to destroy God's people. Guess what? Demons in general are out there trying to destroy God's people, especially Especially if you're, you have a high calling like I do. Things that are hidden are going to come out into the light here. You know? When I heard about what he did, I was like, oh, wow. I'd be so righteously angry if a man then went and just kept preaching like he was doing the right thing. Ugh. Makes me not even want to marry. All that time I was with my ex-boyfriend, he made me cry buckets of tears. You know what I could have been doing? Being with Jesus Christ, who truly loves me and gave his life for me. Come on now. So ladies, beware. I'm your older sister here. I gotta tell you to beware. Pray about it. Make sure. Because there are women who have married men and they, they are not happy with what they have done. I don't want that to happen to you. Look at that woman. I'm sure she's not happy about what happened. She said it was hypocrisy what he was doing. I read about a woman. She married a man. He then abused her. Beware. Marry a man God wants for sure, and who's going to cherish you and treat you like a princess. The right way, how you should be treated with love, respect, kindness, fidelity, being faithful to you. Not stepping all over you. You see, women, when they see a man, he does that to her, and yet she has feelings for him, she'll think, hmm, maybe he'll change. Usually they don't. Usually they do not. It's possible, but I believe when my husband comes, he will already be a godly man. He will already know how to treat a woman well. God would have taught him already, you see? 
demons and people out there to destroy you. What do you think all the people who have come against me, what do you think that was? The devil trying to destroy me. I have a high calling on my life. But the devil lost. He lost. So beware, ladies. I love you.